hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i will show you how to resolve the issue your hp laptop is not booting and freezing and not starting up how you can resolve this issue we will start with the primary steps and we will try the advanced options in the last method okay we will try the advanced method in the last method so we will start with the basic one okay first what you need to do is you need to remove all the external devices or the usb you can see here i am using the mouse this is the mouse so you need to remove it and remove the charger as well okay and press the power key for 30 seconds okay this is the power key i am going to press it you need to do like this you need to press power key for almost 30 seconds okay and leave it like this okay and then again plug in the charger and then reboot the system okay reboot the system and see if your issue is fixed or not okay your issue should be fixed this is the basic step you need to troubleshoot this now if uh, your system is still not booting i will show you what you need to do is you need to go to bios okay i am using the hp laptop so in the hp laptop and system you can press f10 or you can press escape key so let me go to bios so i am shut down it okay shutting it down first okay now let it shut down first almost 5 to 10 seconds and again turn it on and once you turn it on press escape button continuously or f10 button okay you can try one by one both so in my system and my laptop i use the escape key to enter in a bios so like this continuously press this okay it's boot now we need to try another method again another steps it's booted my system boots early so i need to press continuously okay let me restart this time okay again you need to try let me restart this and okay now it is pressing now okay now you can see the options f1 for system information f2 for system diagnostic okay so we need to perform this step system diagnostic we need to check that there is no issue with our hardware okay so press f2 on your keyboard you can manually search for the hardware diagnostic bios key or you need to look for the bios option and then you will find the hardware diagnostic okay first run this test memory test okay it's starting now and let's wait for the process to complete if you found any error you need to replace the hardware okay so it's taking almost 10 minutes so i am cancelling this process i am just showing you how you can troubleshoot this i am pressing escape to cancel this escape yes i am escaping and again uh, f2 and this time check this option hard drive check okay quick and let's wait 
now you will see the one two minutes it will take also so let's wait we can wait for two minutes you can see smart check is passed okay now it's proceeding the short dst test it should be passed otherwise you need to replace your hard drive okay there is a hardware issue with your hard drive so you need to replace that this is the hardware diagnostic tool if all the tests are passed i will show you how to troubleshoot in a further okay so you need to make sure that there is no hardware issue on your laptop else you need to replace it okay if you are unable to find the hardware diagnostic key you can search on your phone that what is the hardware diagnostic key in my hp laptop or other laptop okay you can see the two tests are passed it means that no issue with your hard drive and my hard drive okay so i am cancelling this process since it is passed so if all tests are passed we need to make sure you need to follow the further steps okay let me exit this yes now we need to enter into the bios setup okay in order to enter into bios setup we need to press f10 or on keyboard i am pressing f10 on my keyboard like this so i have enabled the password let me okay so first step we need to make sure that time and date is correct okay you can change it like you can uh, change it and you can change the minute okay let me okay enter you will see in the other like this you can change it and make sure the date you need to make sure it is okay and after that if you found that date and time is okay you need to look for system configuration this option and go to boot options go to boot options hit enter now you will see more options what you need to do is you need to look for os boot manager okay and make sure the hard drive is visible here the previous test is shown that hard drive is available okay so don't worry you need to make sure it is on the priority now hit enter you will see windows boot manager kingston this is my hard drive name or oh, i am using ssd but this is listing the here make sure it is here okay on the first priority if not you can move it with the up arrow key or down arrow key and just uh, press enter okay press enter you are able to boot into boot with the hard drive or the ssd okay if let's say all is okay here the priority is the boot first and your hard drive is the priority what you need to do is you need to scroll it up okay and legacy support you can see here the legacy support we need to change it to the uefi okay so we need to disable this option okay and okay click on yes and now uefi mode is enable okay uefi mode is enable now so we need to press f10 on our keyboard and then let me press f10 i will show you f10 and exit okay now you will see error like this so you need to enter this 1403 enter to complete the setup okay you need to press okay like this 4803 okay on your keyboard and then hit enter now changes will take effect you can see here it's booting now Oh, it's booted now you can see here but 
you need to do the same steps so let me go to the last options what you can do if your issue is still not fixed we can troubleshoot more I will show you in the last step how you can factory reset this default setting okay here again press F10 okay and okay and again go to this option okay security okay system configuration and boot boot okay and look for this option which says legacy support if legacy support is not working you need to again disable this and boot your system with the UEFI okay like this okay now UEFI is enabled now and you need to make sure that USB boot is enabled and network boot is disabled you can see here it should be disabled network boot and other thing you need to check okay all is okay now okay so you need to press F10 again in order to save the changes uh, we are booting with the UEFI mode now and this is how you need to troubleshoot step by step you need to identify that where is the issue and it will take time Okay, let me go into BIOS. Continuously press like this. Make sure you press it correctly. Then F10. Uh, let me put the password here okay now you need to do is you need to set up default okay press f9 press f9 or the any other uh, the key if you find it like f10 f12 f9 whatever option okay you need to press f9 like this and load setup defaults hit enter button okay like this and then press F10 like this and exit saving changes okay and like this okay so this is how you can troubleshoot HP laptop is not booting so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching